People in Emporia are cleaning up tonight after a storm pushed through parts of the area this morning. High winds and heavy rains brought down tree limbs and power lines. And these are some of those pictures sent to us by Lisa Kermer. The power went out at two Emporia schools, canceling classes and causing concern inside. And KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live now at Emporia High to explain how close they are to getting those lights back on. Dan? Brooke, Brooke Jace, workers at West Star were actually able to get the power back on at around 3 o'clock today. So that means classes at Emporia High will be able to resume tomorrow. Power lines were down all around Emporia High's campus, causing classes to be canceled for the fourth day of classes. Luckily, today was a late start for the high school students, so no one was left stranded at school. We were able to get everybody contacted, let parents know, uh, let our staff know and everything that there wouldn't be school at the high school today. Workers got started right away to get the campus cleared from limbs and fallen trees. But the building sitting without power also means the lunch food needs to stay cold. Denise Cater and her staff rushed all morning to load the food for the entire district onto these two trucks. They had to hurry to make sure none of the food went bad. Some of the ladies were having to temp it because we had to make sure that it hadn't went out of temp. If it had, then we'd have to throw it out. And we did have to throw, throw a few things out. After a few hours of work, the entire freezer was unloaded and put on a refrigerated truck to wait until power comes back on. Cater says this was the first time something like this has happened in her career. If it wasn't for our custodial staff and maintenance staff, I don't think we could have made it. A spokesperson for the district says they do plan to have classes here tomorrow and they have not yet come up with a plan to make up today's school day. Although there was a lot of debris and trees knocked down, I'm told that the building was not damaged, so classes are all good to resume tomorrow. Live in Emporia, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All, all right. right. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, and of course, thank goodness for those custodial staff being there to help load those things up, save some of that food. Yeah.